Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with the announcement of the North America Animal Pack. Big thank you to Frontier Developments, Dahlia, for sending me this trailer a little bit earlier so I was able to record this video for you guys. Uh, without further talking, let's first go and watch this trailer. After that, we're going to, to go slowly through the trailer. I'm going to tell you what kind of animals you can expect with this North America animal pack. And uh, yeah, we will go over that all as well. So let's go and watch this trailer first. So the North America Animal Pack coming to you on the 4th of October, so World Animals Day. This pack will launch together with the free update we spoke about yesterday, 1.7. So with this DLC, you are getting the American Beaver, a Moose, a California Sea Lion, a Cougar, an American Alligator, the Black-Tailed Prairie Dog, and the Arctic Fox. Those are all habitat animals. And there will be one exhibit animal, and that will be the American Bullfrog. Now, some of you may know, I have been screaming for an aquarium pack or an aviaries pack for so long already. It is, it's not what, <laughs> what I was hoping for. But I, I, I always thought like mm, North America pack, I'm not really sure if that is something I will be very excited about. But this animal list, I love beavers. I love the sea lion. I like a cougar. I love that we're getting another reptile, so the American alligator. I like the prairie dog and I love the arctic fox, uh, so I'm I'm definitely very excited about this pack, even though it's only an animals pack, so we're not going to expect that many items in this pack. I can see only maybe some signs being added in this DLC. Maybe we will get some free update uh, items as well. I have no idea about that yet, but we have to wait and see about that. So let's first just go over the trailer. I also have some screenshots of some animals so we can go over that as well. So right over here, you can tell, of course, that there is a moose. I know that a lot of people have been asking for a moose in a North America pack. So as far as I can tell, I think all the animals in this pack are highly requested animals. So I think Frontier did a really great job in listening to what the community wanted for this kind of pack. So I, I think they really did a fantastic job on picking these animals for this pack. So right over here is the California Sea Lion Habitat. And uh, this is also, by the way, the new time scenario that is coming with the pack as well. So you will be able to step into the foothills of the spectacular Blue Ridge Mountains to put your skills to the test, using the wilderness around you to transform a small zoo located in marshy wetlands into a full functioning success story. And with this DLC, we will also be getting some new enrichment items. So that is going to be a beaver pool, a pronghorn piñata, a skittle feeder, a melon feeder, and an underwater plant feeder. So that is really cool. I'm actually very happy to see that we're going to get another feeder underwater, which maybe will also be used by other animals. I think that will be very cool. But we have to wait and see about that, of course. I have not seen them yet. I'm not really sure if there is anything in the trailer right over here that we can tell. I really can't tell what it is that I'm seeing in the corner. It might be just a, a little rock peeking out of the terrain right over here, just like on, on this side as well. Uh, so yeah, California sea lions right over here. If we go further, then we will see a California sea lion coming out of the water as well right over here. This is the American beaver habitat. So they have a little shelter building right over here. These things, I think uh, these are just the in-game um, tree trunks and, and branches and stuff that we already have. I can, 
I, I, I think that they made this and added this as a blueprint. So I think people can use it. I don't really think that this is going to be an enrichment item. Is this the enrichment item? There's going to be a beaver pool, but I can't really tell. I don't really think that the beavers will actually be able to interact with this. If if they do, I will be very happy uh, and excited about that. But I'm not expecting them to, to be able to use this, to be completely honest. What that beaver pool is going to be, that's going to be the question. Like, beavers are known for, like, making dams and stuff. So I really do hope that that enrichment item with the beaver pool might have something to do with that. I mean... Why would you need a pool if you have water? So it must be a special beaver pool, right? I have no idea. I'm super excited to hear more about that. So yeah, you can tell there are a lot of beavers around here in the water and in the habitat, but I cannot tell you anything else that may be new for this area in particular. Uh, so far, everything used in the building items are all seem to be from the base game. And then in this shot, we have this really cute American beaver right over here. And it's it's looking over this dam. I think they did a fantastic job on making this dam. I really look forward to see how they actually uh, made this, with what kind of green and stuff they did this. But that looks absolutely amazing. Maybe, maybe we do get some, some new branches though. Like I'm looking at this and it it doesn't look like just a normal tree. So maybe these are a few like broken dead branches that we are getting with a free update or with the pack. I'm not really sure. I, I can maybe see them adding this in the free update as well. But looking at this more closely now, I definitely do feel that these are some new items. So not really sure. It might be in the pack, might be in a free update, but I, I I do really love this. Like this is definitely going to be useful for making these dams, but also for like creating any uh, foliage around your habitat just to make it look a little bit more rough and realistic. So I absolutely love that. You can tell that they also use something like that as well over here. So I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to see this and get my hands on this to play around with that. Other than that, I don't really see any new stuff. There's another beaver in here. There's another beaver right over there swimming. I'm super curious to see them swim on their water and see them dive. And I don't know. I, I'm just really excited to see more about that. But we're not having a glimpse of that, unfortunately, in this trailer. So we have an overview right over here of the new time scenario. Other than that. Oh, yes. Okay. So the chimneys. The chimneys is something that we have to pay attention to. Well, not per se the chimney, of course, but the item. So that is why I'm thinking that this is going to, um, th that we're going to get some free items because this stone is from the Asia theme from the base game. But this is a size piece, a non-grid piece that we probably do not have in the game yet. And we will see it closer up with a moose. Um, with the moose in the background, uh, but just to be aware of that. So I, I do think that we're going to get some free items with the free update, not per se connected to this DLC. Here you go. So here is that chimney. You can tell that this is a non-grid piece and very thin. So I would be very, very happy to get these type of pieces in the free update as well. These are like the pieces that we're basically were missing. Like the plaster pieces, we have so many variations of that. But I would love to get some more non-grid pieces as well from other themes. So I think that will be absolutely amazing if we are getting more of these type of items. And hopefully even more with like, for example, this wood. Uh, I would really love some more non-grid items. There is a moose right over here as well in the background. Other than that, I cannot really tell if there is anything visible, like enrichment items or anything like that. I don't really think... Is this a different background? This definitely looks like a different biome. Although I have not really uh, ever made a North America biome myself. So it, maybe it is already something that was in the game. If not, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you guys think of this uh, this background. I, I 
feel like it's a new background, but, but I could be completely wrong. So then we continue to this one. This is definitely picture perfect. Just look at that mousse. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my goodness. I think they did a fantastic job on this one. It looks absolutely amazing. Really, really love this one. I, I'm, I wasn't really excited about this one when people were like, oh, I hope it's a mousse. Now I see it and I'm like, oh my God, that is just so cool. I'm actually really happy that a lot of people requested for a mousse. So that's why it's in in this pack. I'm guessing. I, I really feel like this is a pack with the the one of the most favorite animals of of many people. So yeah, I, I props to Frontier for adding the adding the moose in here. I really really love it. I really can't wait to get my hands on this one. Other than that, I don't really see anything new. I, is this a new tree? No, is it? Not really sure. It's like. It's like the like trees and stuff. I'm I'm not like that that plant and, and tree nerd like like Mike Sheets is. So he will probably right away be like, oh my god, that's a new tree. Oh my god, that's not a new tree. <laughs> but I just I just really don't know. I, I really don't dare to say it, it could be a new tree. But then again, I have not really played that much with the North America team. Well, Pontesu is pretty much North American or any at least a colder climate. But I've been using a lot more of these type of trees, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you know if this is a new tree or not. It could possibly be that we get some some free foliage again with the free update as well. But just look at that moose. That looks just really, really amazing. Ah, oh, the beaver. Oh my god. I'm gonna have so... I'm so excited to start building a beaver habitat for these guys. These guys are just so adorable, so cool. Just look at it run. Just look at it run. It's so cool. I love it. I love it so much. I am really, really happy that we're getting some American beavers in the game as of right now. Now, now the only thing that we're missing are sea otters that I really would love to see as well in the game. And then then uh, these animals are, are, are complete for me. <laughs> I really, really love these guys. So if we continue, I, I think they, they're absolutely beautiful, mate. I really love the fur. I really can't wait to get my hands on these guys. So if we continue, this is the tail of the cougar, aka Puma. Uh, we we have to wait for more of this animal, but it's really cool that they have like this little sneak peek of the uh, the cougar in the trailer. So it's like, oh yeah, you're getting a big cat again. So I'm just super excited about that. And uh, right over here, we have the American alligator. I'm really happy as well for getting another reptile. I'm not really sure if I'm able to squeeze this one in in any of my current zoos, but in the future we will definitely be using the American alligator for sure. But just look at this guy. Obviously, this is also more of like a sneak peek, so we have to wait and see uh, for for more. No, what? Well, well, I do have a screenshot of this American alligator so we don't we, we can see a little bit more of it so now wish list on steam so this is also an overview of the uh, time scenario other than that I really cannot see any new foliage or anything like that so if you guys spot anything in this screenshot do let me know in the comments down below of course so let's continue we're going to the California sea lion just look at this oh my goodness I love these aquatic animals. They're just so amazing. I think I think they look absolutely fantastic. The, the sea lion was definitely really high on my list. To get it with a walrus, I still love a walrus in the game. Uh, but oh, I, I cannot put a check mark behind the California sea lion because we are getting it finally in the game. Look at these guys. They look absolutely amazing. Just look at these. Oh, there's a little baby right over here and one over here. Oh, that on here. Oh my god, there are so many in this screenshot. They look absolutely amazing, don't they? Gosh, this is just so extremely cool. I'm so excited about these guys. If we just continue a little bit further, you will have the... Uh, well, if you just watch here, just look at it swim and then... Look at this one walk, and look at that one walk. Oh man, these are so cool, aren't they? Gosh, I'm so happy that these guys are being added into the game. 
Look at them. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I really, really love these guys. Oh, man. So yeah, for someone that was not really excited about the thought that it would be a North America pack, my, oh my. Frontier really, really knows how to uh, make someone excited uh, because I really am genuinely excited about some of the animals in the pack. So we also have some screenshots right over here. We have the American alligator. Like still, I would love to see more of this one, but it, it, so far it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm super excited about all the reptiles in this game already. So obviously the American alligator will also be a fantastic animal and, and will obviously dive as well. Now we have uh, some uh, diving animations for, for the alligator and stuff and, and dwarf caiman. So I'm expecting this one also to be able to really dive. And this one is of course a cute little beaver. Just look at the little eyes right over here. It looks absolutely amazing. I love the fur. They did such a great job on this one. Just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Really, really love this one. Next up is the moose. Obviously not surprising. Also looks really amazing. I am really excited to see this one in action. I think, I think it looks just absolutely beautiful. Really, really amazing. Just look at the textures on its body. Absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Then we have another picture of the California sea lion. As I just sat like... <laughs> It's just so cool. I really am so excited that we're finally getting a sea lion in the game. They look absolutely amazing. Really, really love it. And here we have an overview of the time scenario. Uh, you can tell that that moves right over here. We saw also a little different angle in the trailer as well. So the other animals, we have to wait for some more screenshot reveals. But this is the Arctic fox. Well, this one is an Arctic fox in their summer coat. And in their winter coat, they are completely white, if I'm correct. So uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is also my screensaver. I made this one myself in, of course, Rotterdam Zoo. Where else? So I'm really, really excited to uh, get these guys in my game now as well. They're absolutely beautiful. So I'm really excited for these ones as well. And last but not least, the black-tailed prairie dog. Also picture made by me. Uh, because, well, I can't, cannot really show any pictures uh, of someone else because it's copyrighted. But uh, thank God, I had some pictures of these guys. So I was like, oh my God, I can use my own pictures to uh, to get an, uh, give you an idea. Because, like, the black-tailed prairie dog, the first time I heard the name, I was like, wow, wait, what? And later I did realize, like, oh my God, these are these cute little fellas. These guys should also uh, be able to dig in the game. So I'm very excited also. Uh, to see that one and, and this will probably then be the second digging animal that we're getting in the game next to the meerkats. So yeah, I think overall like the Southeast Asia animal pack was, I think, it was not a bad pack but not really my favorite pack. And I think that also came down to the type of animals. Like all of the animals were basically the same, all were habitat animals. Uh, not really aquatic animals, no digging animals. And right now with this new animal pack, we got like diving animals like the sea lion and the beaver and the alligator. And then we're also getting the uh, the prairie dog, which is probably going to be able to dig. So I think definitely when, when it comes down to the, the, the animals that they picked for this pack, I think they really did a great job on, on picking different type of animals to make it more interesting. So yeah. I'm really excited about this pack. I obviously would have loved to have um, some pieces. I think they really nailed it with the Africa pack a few months ago with the great amount of pieces. But yeah, right now we have more animals, so not really building pieces or anything like that. Well, maybe in the free update, like I just said. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm very, very excited to get my hands on this pack and play around with all these animals. I think they will be a great fit in my pond to zoo. Might be able to squeeze some of them in as well in my city zoo that would be really really cool but yeah do let me know of course what you guys think of this north america animal pack what are your most favorite animals that are added in this pack what are you looking forward to the most do let me know in the comments down below of course leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to stay updated with all the news and stuff with this pack definitely make sure to subscribe because i will definitely cover it tons on the channel uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!